Okay. I'm live. You're not live, but uh, I just thought, you know what, we would pop on really quick and um, kind of go over some stuff. And I just uh, zoomed over onto Hannah. So we're at the Purple Painted Lady in Macedon. We have a few other locations. We do. Um, but what do you what do you got going on? What are you doing? I am taking it was like a just a window or some kind of frame, um, and we're using all Iron Orchid Design products on them. It was all flat, and then we took some molds with their air dry clay and kind of gave it a little bit more dimension there. Which mold did you use to do the little bead work? Classic elements. And now this is interesting. So why don't we talk about the molds just really quick since we're yeah. here? Yeah, so, they're like a silicone mold. You can put clay in them. Some people do resin in them. Chocolate. Chocolate for cakes. Um, but they're super easy with the clay. I just pressed pressed it into the mold. Uh, gave it like. 10 seconds and then pulled it out while it's still wet you glue it on and then talk about that so since while it's, it's drying wet, yeah so while it's drying it will shrink a little bit so I could take a little bit more clay and kind of press in to those gaps there yeah um, and then I actually painted it while the clay was still wet which you can do you can also give it 24 hours to fully dry and then paint it um, since so this, I, this was just an old yeah is it a cabinet it was door wood. I don't know I think so. It looks like a vintage a just cabinet. cabinet door. I don't know. We found it in my barn. Yeah. And um, painted it in Svenska blue chalk paint. Okay. Gave Can you hold that up one more time just because yeah. it's kind of like people are like, what yeah. is that? Gave it a little hair spray wash. Okay. So the, obviously the molds, can the mold go on probably, you would probably wouldn't use it on, gl on glass. Just on a solid. I guess you could, but mostly it's, I think something you're going to be painting over. Okay. Okay, very cool. And you didn't need to paint them. You could have no. applied them and then did a metallic gilding. Yeah. Or you could have just lightly dry brushed or strategically painted the design yeah, and definitely. left the wood. Yeah. Right? Okay. Definitely. So which which you can put it on the on yeah. the stool so plate. Which now transfer is that? It is called Ladies in Waiting. And I actually cut out the bottom right section of it there so it's four different sections you could use them all together you can cut them out and place them how you want okay and then and that's I, those are iron orchid design transfers yeah. correct yes okay. and it's just on a piece of acetate uh like this and a backing so you peel off the backing and then you rub on the transfer and then i cut out the b i stole him from this design over here and we're gonna use them on this one Oh, okay. Let me see the bee before you do that. Yeah. So he's on a little piece of paper here. There's the acid. Okay, wait. So let's see. Turn around one quick second, Court. Yeah. Okay, so this is Courtney. You all know Courtney. Put your arm out. Yeah. Let's see. The bee. Oh, my goodness. That's not a transfer, though. No, that that's okay, permanent. Just gotten that. <laughs> Seriously, I should have so just similar. bought a couple transfers. And, and you got your bee tattoo because your family. We own bees. You guys have honeybees. Yeah. So, very good honeybees. Okay, so so I see that there's two pieces here. Yes. A lot of the people on here are, are familiar with transfers. Yeah. And these are Iron Orchid design transfers. And I think starting in 2019, one of their enhancements was to put this the grid, the grid yeah. on the acetate. And that doesn't come off or anything. No. It's just great for positioning, yeah. right? Yeah. So now, tell me, you just took it off of there. It's small. You're not worried about it. You just want to make sure that... The, the acetate doesn't fold in on yeah, itself, if correct? it folds together and the design sticks to itself, it's ruined, so you really can't do anything from there. So you want to be careful as you're placing it. And tomorrow we are going to be talking about um, transfers and all the things you can do to screw them up. Yeah. Do we want the bee flying away or flying in? Mm. Let's see. Let's see how it looks differently. So that one's flying in. Too close to the butterfly. Hmm. What do you guys think out there? Anyone tuning in? Should we have the bee flying in or flying out? We need some input. There's only about 17 of you on, so somebody type in or out. That one's going out, and this one would be flying inward. So if you're out there, give us a out. Linda out. says out. Oh, Erica says in. Oh. <laughs> Anyway, oh, it's, a war. it's so funny. Hi, Marianne. She's out there. So, um, 
I think Do you that. have to put anything over the transfer to protect it when you're doing it on glass? On glass, I would not. If I were doing it on a piece of furniture, I would use clear wax over it. Um, that's typically my go-to. A lot of people are worried after they've applied the transfer that the clear wax application will be too aggressive and might remove it, but that won't happen at all. Okay, so we're saying on the glass, no, it's just yeah. you're not going to be able to spray the Windex directly on it. Yeah. I would spray Windex directly on paper towel and then just clean around the transfer. Yeah, take and, a dry paper towel. Okay, and maybe in a minute we can walk over and I'll see that. So I got to tell you, um, flying in is actually winning now. Okay. <laughs> so, right there, you think? A little bit more on an angle. Yeah, cool. Okay, so why don't you, so how do you get this to stick? So now I've got, it comes with a little applicator that you press the transfer on with. So I'm going to position him, lightly press him on with my fingers, and then I'm going to take this handy dandy tool and just rub back and forth on the transfer. And you know what? We're going to be doing this to the, our front entrance door of the shop oh, here yeah. in Aston, right? Yeah. So then you're able to peel back the acetate and you can see where it is and is not sticking. So I can see I'm lifting some of that design oh, up still yep. and it's not adhered. So I'm just okay. going to lay it back down and apply more pressure and give it another go. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Yeah. So so people who call us, they're like, the, the image didn't transfer. When you're pulling off your acetate, you need to do it slow and pay attention. Yeah. Because if it's not sticking, you can just go right back over it. Yeah. These are incredible. I wonder how long they would stay on a car. Ugh. With the right top coat, anything is possible. That is adorable. Cute. That is adorable. That is so cool. It reminds me of my five-year-old's temporary tattoos. Yeah. Totally. Should we do something else down here? Another flower? It's up to you. Totally up to you. So let me just scooch back over here. So see how simple they are? Boy, I gotta tell you, we have everything in stock, don't we? All the transfers, so. So there's some more words. Oh, so you're just cutting some more words. Yeah, it's totally up to you. I think I'll... There? Yeah, because I think... It's, it, I feel like something... The words, the lettering next to each other just didn't. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, it's straight. Okay. So you just, now when you just press on that, why did you do that? Does it stick a little when you It does them? stick very slightly, and just by peeling it back, you can kind of hear probably that it is stuck oh, yeah. on there already. Okay. So just a light pressure helps me get like kind of a steady setting. It's not going to be flying right off. Okay. So a little less okay. worried about it. So again, just, it's kind of like a little pampered chef tool in a way. Yeah, and something like this has a lot of moving parts, so you want to... In our, our stool. Yeah. yeah. You want to be sure you press down all those areas. So, oh, up. so that's interesting. So you know that that R, it, it, yeah. the black actually then... Okay. Yeah. So you can tell. So if you, um, can I get in here one second yeah. with that down? So if you see the black still on the yeah. lettering there, that on the acetate, it means it hasn't transferred yeah, over. Yeah, you can definitely so. Okay. It's interesting. Yay. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, very cool. Well, so that's what you're up to. Yeah, what's Courtney doing? I don't know. I'm going to go see Courtney's out on the floor. Let me go try to find Courtney. So I'm going to turn you guys around since this video was what's going on in uh, Macedon. There's Courtney. <laughs> Look at her face. She's such a <laughs> Want to take us on a tour? Don't, don't at least, yeah, sure. <laughs> at least, Let's uh, start at the beginning. You're so cute. Okay. So if you've been to our Masson location or if you've seen some of our Facebook lives, you may have noticed that things look a little different. Maybe not this in particular, but we have these large hutches <laughs> over here. So for our springtime, we did decide to do some spring cleaning slash moving. So we just kind of moved things a little bit so they made a bit more sense, had a bit more flow to it. So over here, we now have our large paint hutch. Uh, so we have all of our paint out there, all of our top coats, everything that's super jazzy. It's all in a flow. So it goes paint. Any top coat. You're so funny. Brushes and then other mediums that you could potentially use. Cool. Um, and now, oh, 
We actually have a hutch that home our iron orchid designs. So these it's transfers, in process, yeah, yeah. So it's in process, but before we didn't really have a true home for them, and now we do. So we're super excited. Want to take us outside? Yeah. Seems nice out. It's their sunshine. I just it's nice. This is the cutest. Okay, so here we are. Oh my gosh. We have some new artwork on the side of our building? What's that for? What's all that about? We host a festival every September. <laughs> so you should come on by. It's a Purple Painted Lady Art Festival. <laughs> we, have, <laughs> we have 300 artists that are handpicked by very own Trisha Kuntz. Uh, she picks them out. They have to hand make whatever they're bringing. We're also bringing in food trucks. Which is my favorite like part of the 40, entire 30 or 40? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. If you don't come for anything, come for the food. And at this festival, da, 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 we have Annie Sloan's gonna be there this year. She's gonna be there doing some demos, book signings. She'll be there hanging out with us. So if you wanna meet good old Annie Sloan, come on by. All right, you guys. Well, thanks for tuning in on our nice random live we'll be back tomorrow for an iron orchid design transfer demo pretty much everything we're going to talk about everything that could go wrong